All right, we've got a little battle happening here. Got a little, I'm not gonna look at them. We've got a Nikon versus Fuji. One of them is the other. I'm not gonna tell you which one. I will soon. One of them costs twice as much as the other. The other one costs twice as much as the other as well. That's, the, that's a lie. Can you tell by image quality alone? This might give it away. The battle has begun. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So if you haven't been able to tell, the Fuji X-T4 is on your right and the Nikon Z50 on your left. In my initial tests, I'm actually blown away by the Nikon. It's a camera that I never would have even looked at because they only have one lens, basically, the kit lens. They have two, but the other's a zoom, a frickin' super zoom. So we're on the Fuji X-T4 with the kit lens to keep it fair because all we have is a kit lens here. So it's the 15 to 45, 3.5. That's a bullshit lens right there. Versus the Nikon with its 16 to 50. So it's a little longer, less wide, same 35, 3.5. Bullshit aperture, toneless. Does one have more tone than the other? Even though they're at 3.5, the Nikon should theoretically have more because it's a longer focal length. Better not. So let's do a quick stabilization exposure test. <laughs> I tricked you. Oh wow, Nikon's so quick on that. Fuji's doesn't really feel like doing it. I think Nikon leads the industry in exposure, auto exposure. Let's do it, sunshine. Let's do it, sunshine. Wow. They both do pretty good, it's just Fuji's a little jarring with their stepping ways. Nikon's smooth as we go back to the shadow world. Oh wow, so exposed on the Nikon. So how's the stabilization? We have IBIS plus lens stabe on the Fuji. Nikon doesn't have IBIS, so we can only do lens stabe, but I found it to be pretty adequate. It's adequate, it's exposing me so much better right now. Wow, I'm wondering if the autofocus is losing me on the Fuji. That's one of the reasons I brought this. This is heavy. Because this is like the walk of dungeons. Just autofocus systems fail. If I want to test it I'll bring them here because the shade something ain't right with this whole path it's haunted and the systems lose me how did the Nikon perform there we're on the Fuji now oh my god a squirrel I have walnuts there's three of them I can't I only have two arms ah oh, damn you evolution not that evolution exists that's a fake lie <laughs> you've been fooled how does Nikon handle the shadows? I think it just keeps focus. It's like a Canon. It could be better than Canon. I'm so curious of their future. What are they gonna release? They better have a flippy screen on something. X-T4 has been behaving pretty well in the studio with certain settings. You put it on quick and slow. Trust me, that's how you do it. If I use quick out here, I'll show it to you actually. It just hunts like you wouldn't believe. So I have to go locked on and slow. And then it somewhat gets you sometimes, but there's a constant hunt. And I have a feeling it's because of this, this shadow shit. And then it gets confused and then it can't autofocus. Whereas in this situation, it might be all right. There's a bug on the lens. I'm taking a closer look while also doing an autofocus test. Oh my God, oh, he flew away. Whereas the Nikon doesn't seem to matter. You go into shade. It still gets you. The colors shift a little, but it is kind of accurate. I mean, it's cooler in the shade, technically, and it should be represented in a blue-like fashion. Oh, Nikon. Wow. The fact that the Fuji costs twice as much, that scares me. Although that's with the other kit lens, the 18 to 55, which is better, heavier. Here's pure shade. Fuji just doesn't like autofocusing here. But sometimes, you never know. That firmware update, for some reason, improved it, even though they said they didn't. 
There was no mention of autofocus improvements. If I was just going by vlogging performance, exposure, autofocus, stabilization, I would choose the Nikon over this and save myself a thousand dollars to buy the no lenses that don't exist. That is unfortunate. You'd have to buy one of their full frame lenses. They're so heavy then you've ruined the whole point. But it performs better. It's more polished. That's what I've noticed. Their technology is higher up. Fuji is like a fringe system. Just dark underdogs. I like the dark underdogs though. That's why we like it. All right, what if we're just chilling? It seems like the Fuji's a lot darker today. That Nikon just adjusting. Doing what it needs to do to keep pace in our modern world. That is fantastic. Who has more dynamic range? Zebras? No zebras allowed here. There's just a couple deal breaking flaws with the Nikon, unfortunately. That small rig adapter, you can't remove the battery pack, so there's too much unscrewing to get your SD card out. Super annoying. And also the fact that it's lopsided tripod under one side it's just an awkward feeling makes it heavier than it needs to be and there's no lenses for it you're stuck with the kit lens which is a decent vlogging lens if i'm being honest with you it works it does work but part of you wants a little more tone in your life there's a homeless guy like rampaging around the park shouting i fear for my life i fear for it hard if he looks fit he looks way too fit for a homeless man. What's he doing? Why do homeless men take steroids? It's bullshit. This is bullshit. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> this makes me think the Z6 would just crush the Fuji in every way. Can you imagine it? The stabilization probably just as good. You'd get more tone if you desired it. You could stop down to be reasonable. The exposure, the polish, the autofocus, never leaving. Fuji, you leave me all the time. I bet you've done it 15 times already in the video. In fact, let's show you. Let me show you the speed differences on this thing. Okay, so here's the Fuji right now with zero quickness. So it's as fast as it can be and slow minus two for the speed. This actually, this is the setting I've been using in the studio and it works pretty well. But from what I've tested, maybe it's gonna be flawless today, but it just like it was jumping, waving, it was doing all kinds of shit it shouldn't, but maybe it's perfect. Let me give it a couple tests with shading situations. Will you keep me or lose me forever, Fuji? You don't know the love that you had. You wouldn't know it if it hit you. That homeless guy is super distracting. He's shouting to the world how it's not his fault, it's the world's fault. I feel like we're losing each other a lot here. Like there, I'm gone completely. Yeah, so you can see this setting in the shade is where it gets bullshit. So there might be, let's lock that exposure. What was that button, this one? It's locked. Does that help? Now you only have one thing to, th no, I'm out. I'm so out, it's not even funny. Oh, locking the exposure does nothing. It makes it worse. I'll send help. There's people. They're toning it. And now we're on the Nikon. It's about 100 grams lighter than the Fuji kit system of life. There's no eye tracking, but it tracks the face. Never seems to lose. Let's see if we can make it lose me. Facing the shadows here. It thrives in the shadows. It's like those creatures in that movie on the planet where the sun goes out and then they come. <laughs> it's a good movie. <laughs> Fantastic. Honestly, I'm just so impressed with this camera. You could do a lot worse for vlogging. A lot worse. I've done it. I do it every day. It's just so reliable. Like, this is a camera you trust, and I imagine the Z6 is even better. Or the same. Or worse. But with the 20mm, 21.8, a little heavy. But you could get some glory. I wish they had a 2.8. So much lighter, enough glory for you. But color me impressed, Nikon. You just work on a couple kinks. 
and come out with some lenses stabe a wide stabe fast prime aperture wise 12 mil tony 2 stabilized lens and then your next mark ii has a flip up screen oh my no need for these rigs i'd buy that thing i'd buy right into that thing i doubt it is the homeless man coming to kill me don't do it you'll regret it i'm stronger than i look the monkey strength gains are real. You don't know what I'm capable of, fit homeless man. You don't want this heat. Did it focus on him? It felt like it hunted for a second. I'm thinking of bringing like a white umbrella with me to soften the sunlight and vlog like that and maybe the autofocus systems will catch me. Will they? Is this good content? Grass vlogs? Do I look stupid to other people? Is this a, oh. All right, here's just to show you a quick, super extreme example. We're on quick and fast. So quick sensitivity and fast, and you'll see that jumping so quick, just second guessing, like unwatchable. Why would this even be a setting? It's so bad. Whereas Nikon, like, I've made three videos now, other than the first user error video where I didn't realize the firmware update would have fixed my problems and it wouldn't track me if the screen was flipped down for some reason. Other than that, it hasn't lost me once. I haven't seen it hunt, and I've been through all these challenging situations. Whereas Fuji, like, I'm trying every single setting. Every video I've made on this camera, I've probably made like 12 videos now, I'm trying different settings. Okay, tracking all the way up, speed minus one. Oh, that's not working. And I just keep adjusting in each new video and none of them are doing the job. This one for sure isn't, let's run. This is the only setting that makes logical sense. Tracking all the way so it should stick on my face and then speed minus one to not be jarring. And this is like the best performing setting for outside. Sometimes it works. It's like kind of like Panasonic in a way that it's just not reliable. You never know what you're going to get in these very important situations where you film with the sun behind you. People do it. The sun vlogs. I've seen them. When you're in sun, sometimes it accepts your life. Not always. We'll switch to that Nikon show you how it's done. Now the Fuji has an advantage in that it has better lenses, technically speaking, on paper. Maybe not better performing autofocus wise, but we're on the 18 mil Tony II and I find it's the most reliable lens for autofocus. It makes no sense. That motor shouldn't be even working, but it does. And it doesn't lose me as much as the other lenses. And now we have slight tone increase. I like that it adjusted the aperture. You know how many times I've had a 3.5 lens, then I put on a 1.4 lens, but it's still at 1. Point, or sorry, 3.5 on the Panasonic, and I'm filming the whole video like a scrub, a 3.5. Kind of bullshit is that? So who's handling their life now? And now we're seeing Ibis first lens stabe. Just Ibis. I find you need the digital with the Fuji, and then it's like almost Panasonic level. How we doing on it? Homeless man, sizing me up. Get ready for the battle. I'll film it in slow motion. Should be good. Should make a good movie. Battle scene in my short film. The origins of the cripple hammer. Coming to theaters near you. <laughs> I do want to make a short film, The Origins of the Cripple Hammer, before it loses all its power. Alright, let's test a walking up the hill test. See just the IBIS performance on the Fuji X-T4. Gliding up the hill or stepping up it like a roller coaster. There's no steps in a roller coaster, it's on rails. That was a poor, poorly used metaphor on my part. Wow, we got dark. Wow, this is a good test, the hill test. Exposure and IBIS all in one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How about you, Nikon? Nikon, just the lens stabe. It does have digital. Maybe we'll do it. 
We'll do digital both. See what happens. We're walking up the hill of life, about to exposure test ourselves. I turned the opposite way. Did I step in the sun on the Fuji? I don't remember. That's a poor memory. That's a bad diet. You can subscribe to Vegetable Conspiracies on how to lose your mind. I do it well. Rocky Hills here. The Rocky Hills of London have fallen us. Let's switch to digital. Okay, digital stabe and ibis on the Fuji. Walking up that hill. We're just walking right up there. And then the top will turn around when we hit the sun for an exposure stepping. It does get there pretty quickly. I like that. Down the hill now is much worse. You'd think it'd be easier, but it's not. It's harder. The momentum carries you. We're in the shadows. Wow. Will Nikon perform the same? All right, Nikon with lens and digital stabe. It just looked much worse when I first tried it and I've been afraid to try it again. Just don't do it to yourself. But maybe it's, it was all a lie, a dream. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's take a trip down the hill. I'm telling you, Nikon's the future. They're gonna go out of business, we all know it. That is sad. Stay in business. Let me know who you thought won the battle today. I tell you, it's always split 50-50. Oh, Nikon, bro. They killed it. How could you not see it this whole time? The color's fantastic. And then people are like, oh, that's why you spend the money. You can tell right away the Fuji. Oh, my God, it's the best. <laughs> Bunch of fanboy criminals. So, we're done. Thank you so much for watching today. Subscribe for more videos after you bought a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. And subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.